When I create a new page for my Google site, you'll notice that although web page is the default for a new page and the one you will most commonly use, there are other page types that might be of use. In this video, we'll explore the announcements page type. When you change the drop-down menu to announcements for page type, title your page, and then choose the red create button, you'll see that Google makes you a new page similar to others, but this page prompts you to create posts and allows users to subscribe to updates. Many teachers use an announcements feed or page to communicate homework, but since I'm using a calendar to communicate that information, I'm going to use this page for updates and classroom information. To make a new post, I just select the new post button. Title my post and enter my information. When I hit the blue save button, I notice a couple of things. First, I'm no longer on my announcements page. I'm on a new page that shares the name of the post I just created, and sure enough, my navigation shows a subpage. To add a new announcement, I need to get back to my classroom information page and choose new post. Again, a new page is created. I like the snippets being compiled on my announcements page, but I do not like the subpages showing in my navigation, so I'm going to fix that by using the edit sidebar link and editing my navigation. I will choose to show only one level of navigation. When you're done, make sure to save your changes. One of the nice things you can do only with announcement style pages is pull an information feed onto your home page. Before you can do this, you already need to have created an announcement page in a couple of posts like I have. Then go to your home page, choose the pencil to edit. I want an announcements feed on the right hand side of my page, so I'm going to change my page layout to two column simple. I'll place my cursor where I want this feed to appear and then use the insert menu to choose recent posts. This will bring up a list of my announcement style pages. Since I have only one, there are no other options available in the drop down menu. I also have the ability to adjust the length of my information from short snippets to the full post and I can decide how many posts will be pulled in. Newer posts will cause the older ones to drop off automatically. I can add a little intro to my post area and change or remove the title. When I save my changes in exit editing mode, I can see that Google has inserted a nice feed for my announcement posts. And if I add a new post, The feed on my home page is automatically updated. Announcement pages can be used for general information, reminders, homework, words of the day, challenge problems, and much more. Experiment with adding this type of page to your website. 